everyone. I've just come out of the middle of nowhere just so I can record this. I hope no one's I hope, I hope that no one's watching me. Um so hello, welcome to today's video. Yeah, we're camping today. Never been camping, so it's my very first time and we're camping in our five pound tent. It's amazing. So we've just set everything up. I've kind of showed you clips already. Um I don't know what to expect, but there's a lot of people and everyone's like outside. So I feel like me just talking randomly to myself, it's a bit embarrassing. I mean even now, you know what I mean? It's a bit embarrassing. Um but that's the campground behind. Um so I'm gonna leave all the description, all the details in the description below of where we're actually staying. It's really nice. I've just been to the toilet. Um you know, I'm not the most up-to-date toilets going, but it's really clean. There's a lovely gentleman over there cleaning literally every five minutes, um, which is nice. And there's just loads of people. Everyone's chilling. I just can't believe how much, like, people invest in camping. It's amazing. I'm not going to go on too much longer now. I'll just take you for the ride for the, for the night, a couple of days, and I hope you really enjoy it. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, and that's about it. Let's crack on with the rest of the video. I'm sweating. So our tent is built. Managed to get it up. Let's have a look. That's our inside, just brought our duvet. And we're gonna set this up because we bought this the other day from Gob Outdoors. We're gonna make a cup of tea and a coffee. And this is our view. And we've just seen some horses go past. It's not that busy. I'll show you. But me and Chris found this in Aldi the other day, 3 99 stove, top, kettle. I'm, I'm hoping that that's going to be alright for what we're going to do. Let me just show you what we've got. Chris has got it out. This is what we got. Obviously, we're not going to light it on here. I can see some air. What else here flying? So, yeah. Oh, look. Ooh. Yeah, with a view. Oh, look what we got. We got the cup of tea. Oh, look, the tractor's coming round. Right, I think we've set up a bit now. So that's just a blanket. Just created some, I don't know, might do carpet. <laughs> Chris is in there. Hi. Doing a word search. And this um, brown sheet I got from Poundland, which is quite good actually, because if you can think about it, from there to there, that it'd just be grass. It's definitely worth a quid. Um, don't know, that's about it to be honest. Everyone's around us, you can really tell how like experienced people are doing camping. They've got absolutely everything. I love this person's here. I ain't being nosy because I'm over there with the neighbours, but they've got, I love it. I love how they've got like the little buns in there, <laughs> but anyway. The toilets are down there. I'm gonna go down there really because I do need the loo. Um, it's a bit cloudy. I'm a bit warm actually. You, I mean, you're a bit warm. Um, I'm comfortable. Yeah, like I've got a t-shirt on. I hope that means we're gonna be all right for the night. Yeah, I think we're gonna be quite warm during the night, you know. With me and you and in, in here, yeah. I, I'd imagine, to be honest, you might even get away with that, leaving this open. Future editing, Isabel. I can't believe we actually said those words out of our mouth. It wasn't warm. We, we did zip. 
every layer on the camping tent. Um, what was we even talking about? Let's go back to the video. You to yeah. Watch the comfort we might leave this open and zip that down. Right. Yeah. Oh, I get it. I get it. Cause they've got like little windows there, and it's a nice little little setup. I mean, we're a lot smaller, but the fact that we've got our little five pound tent. Yeah. What a bargain, eh? Tent, sleeping bags. Is it comfortable in there? Yeah. yeah and the stove and that's all set up. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Um, we just had a cup of tea, which you would have seen. Bargain, you I know. make a Boston cup of that. <laughs> <laughs> gonna have a walk through this bit so that's me and Chris are just there <laughs> oh look at this like I said it is a proper working farm so like tractors and like horse riders are just coming through I'm out of breath that walk to the toilet is gonna be a job oh can you see I'm scared. <laughs> I want to go closer. Hello. Don't know what that noise is. How amazing. So close. I don't know if this is interesting for you guys. I think a lot of the time I am speaking quiet because there's so many people and like everyone's outside and I'm a little bit embarrassed. Let's have a walk up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness me there's horses all up there if you can see all that beautiful white one up there oh we just ran over there he's all on his own now it's a bit sad ain't he they've all got friends look at him over there there they are now there they are someone needs to sort this out Should we have a look up here? I'm not sure if I'm allowed to, but... The horse there, look at the view there. The North Wales for ya. Took us about two hours to get here. Not bad standard, just did it straight run. Look, I'm just on this bit here. It's lovely, absolutely lovely. That should be fair, it's up here. I feel like I could open it, speak. So all this row right, will lead to like the toilets and the main camp because it is a working farm, like I've already mentioned. Um, so like earlier on, because the, the money out, the tractor will literally go through the campground. But you know what? I really don't mind. It's like, I don't know, it's just really funny. Um, who can say they've slept on a farm? You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, just general houses all up there. And right outside the camp, about, I don't know, let's say five, ten minutes up the road. Um, not even that, really. If you just walk up here and out the camp, there's like um, the bus stops. You can actually get on the bus right into Ross on Sea and land up now if you wanted to go up there. Um, if you just wanted to leave your car here. Um, but that's about it, to be honest. Like, there's not really much to it. 
um, so far so good and I would definitely recommend um, I'm not sure what it would be like if you had to stop in what am they like static caravans you know like the, the van ones and stuff where you cook up to electric don't know how much that is and I don't know what the experience is over there but I'm assuming it's all alright I mean it's chock how can you see it um, I don't know what I'm in about it I think I need another cup of tea I brought this massive um, puzzle book. It's got full of word searches in, and um, they've all got different titles at the top. So this one is fictional princesses, but you know there's loads of different names on there. And I've just found my first one, uh, so I'm going to find the rest now. It's something to do me, and we're just cooking some on there while Chris is pasta. And um, that clay word does not look nice. But apparently it's not going to rain today, so we're just going to see how that goes. Yeah, let's find another word. just i just thought i'd quickly give you an update because i have literally just made myself a cup of tea um on the stove which i'm absolutely loving by the way we got it we got it out of um go outdoors and it was 10 pound if you remember let me just put my tea over there and um the sun is coming out like when i say sun like it's starting to like to the sunset um so i'm currently waiting for that i think it's around quarter past eight when it fully you know at its peak so i'm hoping that i'm going to capture that because i love a sunset and i love a sunrise i catched a lot um catched i caught is caught is this the right grammar um sunsets and sunrises when we was on our last holiday and i absolutely loved it um so anyway we're still here and we haven't moved pretty much all day apart from when we just needed the loo we've just noticed or i have noticed that they have got like a bit of like a mini van that's selling like fish and chips burgers um reasonably priced um considering anyway i'm literally i look a state <laughs> I wash my hair and everything and it's starting to get greasy already but you know what I ain't bothered um I'm just trying to enjoy it the best as I can and I've just realized that I've got like stuff around my mouth it's just what I'm at this is true camping style so I do apologize I think there was a bit of food is there still some there I, again I really do apologize um so I think I can't wait like when we cook our tea we're gonna do that a little bit later I'm gonna catch the sunset and and then tomorrow we'll hopefully explore like the beach which is like Ross and Sea um and that's that's it really I hope this is all right and and like interesting enough for you to see or if you would just want to be nosy um <sighs> right anyway I'm gonna go So guys, it is sunset. I've managed to grab some shots for Instagram. Not sure. To be honest, the sunset is like over that hill, so it's a bit tricky. But they've put all like the horses into their home for the evening, and it's so cute. They're like so willing to come up. And then look at these. Wow. Hello. I mean, these are big. I think this one, this white one here, 
loves me because he's even coming back he's thinking where's Isabel gone where is she gone she's here I'm here <laughs> oh what's going on here then I'm in a bit of a scratch wow I mean imagine being an horse while you're it must feel powerful you know well nice to see ya you know nice to see you pal you going to have your dinner um, yeah it's a bit of a shame really because if that hill wasn't there that would have been amazing oh look he's still there he's actually wait shall I go over come on see ya watch the main road someone's coming but I'm going to run over anyway hello hello hey hello oh hello hello is that nice you go and eat your dinner now you now you've seen me you're all right now are you see you you see you later he's rolling around now he got that excited to see me he's like wee <laughs> right i'm done i'm giving <laughs> Right guys, it is nine minutes past eight and we're already left, packed up, packed all the camp up and we've left. Um, I'll explain a little bit more later on but it was a bit of a nightmare last night but we just come to Ross and say by the beach. I didn't get the sunset unfortunately but that's the best I've got so enjoy that. Look at this. So we've just come to land now, but on the other side, I can't remember what it is. I'll put it on the screen, like what it's called. Um, but it's like the quieter zone of land now. But look at that. Honestly, the camera is not picking up, but I can see, oh, there's some people on the beach. And then that's the great home. No one's ever been here before. We've been there several, several times. Just look at that. guys that is the end of this video i'm coming to you the morning after so i've been home slept home it makes a big difference so i thought you know what i'm not even gonna bother to get myself fully like makeup and everything because you've got you've guys seen this face before um anyway so um i'm back home now and um what an experience i just wanted to kind of finalize that it was just a really good although yes it was cold night um i managed to stay pretty warm i had a hot water bottle and um, i wore like really thick pajamas and um, i've got like this thick pajama jumper as well um, and that really helped i don't think i needed anything else support apart from that um but it was just really good like everyone was like on a vibe the only thing was two things actually people were having a fire but we were told that you weren't allowed an open fire so we was a bit annoyed about that but people wasn't having it on the floor they had like um like like something to put the fire in if that makes sense um but yeah and no one was told off about it so i'm assuming i don't know maybe they just did it and they just didn't care about the rules and um, but we was a bit gutted about that and then it got to about five six o'clock and another family came so they must have like had to finish work and stuff which is fair enough um and they were so loud like they were a loud family like um 
like if they was telling someone to do something or to get something they had to shout it um and every language under the sun so that was a bit and and they didn't go to sleep so about half past three in the morning because there was on that mirrors um so that was a bit of a nightmare but uh, pff, what can you do it's one of them you you're literally in an open field with a bunch of people you you're bound to gonna have one of them you know you're bound to gonna be in that situation um but other than that it was a really good experience i'm really glad that i picked that five pound cent and we just got out there and experienced something different together um definitely gonna do it again but saying that i do still love my house elves i still love my caravans and my lodges and we're still gonna go on holidays like that um but it was just it's all about an experience isn't it and i'm glad i've done it now but i'm glad i've got my own bed back um yeah so today I'm going to go off for a Sunday lunch. I will make myself look a little bit better, um, but I just thought I'd end today's video. Anything that I haven't really touched upon or I don't know what I feel like I should have mentioned right now, I'm just going to put it in the description below. Um, and yeah, I'll leave you with that and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching this, guys. Um, every so often, because I know that there is a few new people on here, every so often with me and Chris do go somewhere new and I try and vlog it. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Try me. Yeah.